guys, this is Seb Sanford, and for this special video, this one goes out to my parents who requested uh, this following video, and they asked me, would you like to do a video around the city of Bath, because that's where we live? So I did a little bit of thinking, and I thought, sure, why not? And so in this video, I would like to take you around the city of Bath and visit some of the city's famous landmarks and each one's history. But how can I amplify this even more? Let's take a Polaroid picture of each landmark with this here Polaroid camera. With that said, let's start the tour around the city of Bath, England. So let's start things off with this here train station. It's called the Bath Spa train station. And let's dive in a little deeper into the train station's history. Isambard Kingdom Brunel built this beautiful train station as part of the Great Western Railway, sometimes called the GWR, from London to Bristol in 1840. This is what the train station looks like in Victorian Britain, and this is what the train station looks like today. Not only that, but the other train station in Green Park, which closed in 1966, has turned itself into a wonderful area to eat and listen to live music. Well, that's about it for this segment, but I guess all that's left to say is, all aboard! Okay, so for the next part of the video, next stop, the Roman Baths. Constructed in around 70 AD, when the Romans ruled parts of Britain, the Roman Baths is one of the best preserved Roman remains in the world, where 1,170,000 liters of steaming spring water at a high temperature of 46 degrees Celsius still fills the bathing site every single day. A temple was built on site and it was known as Aquasulis, where it was used as public bathing. After the Romans left, the original Roman baths were in ruins a century later. There was evidence that the site of the baths might have been the center of worship used by the Celtic people and they followed the goddess Sulis, where the Romans called her the goddess Minerva. Just imagine what it would be like to see the Roman baths in its original form. The Romans themselves liked to use the baths as social gatherings and meet their friends. I recommend you check this exhibit out. Super hot, so don't put your hand in there. next stop on our tour around Bath, England is by far the hardest landmark to capture on camera. This is the Bath Abbey. It was originally on the site of the Saxon convent in the 8th century. The building was started in 1080 and it was adapted and more of it was built as the centuries went on. In 1863, there was a major restoration of the abbey by George Gilbert Scott. If you want to look outside the abbey, there are statues of gargoyles looking down on us tourists surrounding it. And there is also a ladder of angels located outside on the west front of the abbey. Another fun fact about the abbey itself, if you look up at the ceiling of the abbey, there is a beautiful fan vaulted ceiling that started in the late 1500s. If you're looking for a place to sit back and spend some quality time here in the city, why not visit the Parade Gardens right next to the Roman Baths and the Bath Abbey? The Parade Gardens occupy a triangular site bounded to the south by North Parade, to the northeast by the River Avon, and to the west by Perry Point Street and Grand Parade. This place is located outside the Abbey and the Roman Baths, which we've already visited. These delightful two and a half acre gardens are Bath's most popular pleasure grounds. You can also see some lovely flower displays around the area. Isn't this place so really peaceful just to get away from all distractions in a very loud city? seen my trailer reaction videos on my youtube channel then this next segment you will find very interesting it all starts with a following hint as you can tell i'm a fan of all things movies and tv shows but what you're about to see are some of the filming locations that were filmed around the entire city 
So, lights, camera, action. Loads of movies have been filmed here. Pulteney Bridge was one of them, and this was where they filmed a scene from the film version of Les Miserables, where Russell Crowe's Inspector Javert takes his own life. It was the suicide scene. And author Jane Austen used to live in the city of Bath from 1801 to 1806, and many film adaptations of her books were filmed here in Bath. Some movies include Persuasion and Northanger Abbey. The 2008 film The Duchess was also filmed here. The filming locations for each movie done in the city have included the Royal Crescent, the Assembly Rooms, Green Park Station, and again, Holy Bridge. The most recent movie shot in Bath back in 2021 was the new Willy Wonka movie. If any of you have seen the trailers, you might have spotted one of the many landmarks where a scene or two was shot on Stall Street and its many surroundings. This is Stall Street. That's where one of the scenes from the Wonka movie was shot. Well, that's a wrap. With a special thanks to my home tutor and to my family for making all of this happen, this video is made for both my virtual audience and to the people of my hometown, hoping you'll be able to visit Bath, England and discover its history and what it has to offer. Thank you for watching. Happy traveling. <laughs>